Hi guys, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my nighttime beauty routine. Now, um, I haven't always been <laughs> good about having a nighttime routine um, and washing my face and really getting all the makeup off after like a long day. Um, for years, my routine was basically just using a makeup removing towel and going to bed and that was it thank god my skin I, i've had really good skin um most of my life like i've never had horrible you know acne or like blemish or like huge blemish issues um i get you know like blackheads and zits and stuff every once in a while but knock on wood that i just haven't had any kind of excessive um just irritations or anything like that my skin um can be a little sensitive sometimes because it's so dry but other than that there's not too much to my skin but thank thank god like that's like the one good thing that i've had so for the last few years um you know starting in like my late 20s i decided that i just you know i need to have a better skincare routine because <sighs> wrinkles are coming dark spots besides like the dark circles that i have always had other skin issues i'm sure are 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 soon to follow now i'm in my 30s and i really really <laughs> um i'm scared of the wrinkles and sagginess and all the stuff that's you know that's coming soon so recently i've been changing up my uh skincare routines and using different moisturizers and cleansers and exfoliators and all kinds of different things and i've been switching it up so i won't use the same thing you know for months until i finish the product i will switch it up i'll use things for a couple of days or every other day and then i'll i'll always go back and forth i won't use the same moisturizer or the same cleanser i just kind of switch it up so my skin doesn't get used to it and so i use some things that are a little more harsh like an exfoliator one day and then I'll use like a gentle um, cleanser when I don't have makeup and I'm just kind of washing the just the dirt and oil and whatever is left from from the day so I'm going to show you the products that I've been using lately for the last few months I have been using two different sets that and these are the two different sets that I've mainly been going to some other things are kind of mixed in there too um but this this video isn't sponsored this video isn't uh, these products weren't sent to me i have definitely seen some improvements um especially since we're right in the middle of winter um my skin does seem a little bit more moisturized um you know as far as wrinkles and dark spots i don't think I have too many wrinkles yet, um, but I can. I, I have noticed that, um, you know, I have smile lines. I have those have been starting to um, get a little more defined. So um, yeah, I've just been using these different products, and I'm going to show them to you now. So the first thing that I use um, as soon as I'm ready to wash my face and take off my makeup is I get a makeup cleansing talent. Um, these are from the Kirkland brand from Costco. I actually heard um, Luster Lux just rave about these. She says these are her favorite um, these are her favorite um, wipes. So I tried them. I was kind of sus suspect to uh, to try them. I'm used to using the Neutrogena wipes which don't irritate me actually they have irritated me before um but not usually um but anyway i was kind of hesitant to to try these they have irritated my skin maybe like once or twice i don't know if it was um just different products that i was using or um the the weather or whatever it was so i wouldn't go buying the big costco size case of them if you wanted to try them out maybe um check online and see if you can get like a smaller case or like a just a regular pack um because i think 
I think it's like 10 or 12 packs um, and a couple of these travel size packs also in, in a big case at Costco. But anyway, so these are pretty good. I mean, they get pretty much all of my makeup off in one wipe. Sometimes I'll use two depending on how much make I, makeup I have on, but they're pretty good about getting everything um, off, including eyeliner, um, you know, la uh, lash glue to eyeshadow, glitter, uh, lipstick, everything. And they're not very oily. Not like the Neutrogena, which I, I do like the Neutrogena ones, but they do tend to be a little bit more oily. These don't, so I appreciate that. I don't really have one makeup wipe that I love, so I just always try different ones. Um, these are pretty good and they're a good price, but I don't have one specific one that I can always say that's my, that's my go-to. So if you have a makeup wipe that you really like let me know in the comments because I really really do want to know um, if there's any good ones out there that that you guys like let me know what you guys use and I'll try them so after using the makeup removing wipes then I'll go into a face wash or a cleanser um, and lately I've been using and I've really been liking this elf exfoliating scrub um, I use this Sometimes I'll use it two or three days in a row, but usually I just like to use it every other day um, just so it's not too harsh on my skin. And oh, actually this says use twice weekly, but I probably use it <laughs> more than that. And it has, you know, the 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 sandy like grains in it um, to exfoliate your skin. Um, so I like it. It doesn't irritate my skin. I think it was only like five bucks. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Um, I'm sure there are better things um, and more expensive things, but I just kind of picked it up at the drugstore a few months ago and I've been using it for a while and it's been great on my skin. It hasn't irritated me uh, or it hasn't irritated my skin. Um, it hasn't, you know, broken me out or anything and um, I think it works pretty good. And another face wash that I've been using is part of a set. This is the Pure Skin Face Cleanser with Fab Antioxidant Booster. It removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. It's, it's safe for sensitive skin. I've been using this um, as and also as an everyday cleanser, um, either in the mornings or at night. I'm, I haven't been... I haven't been too good about washing my face both in the morning and at night. It's usually just one and um, yeah, I probably should start washing them in, at both in the morning and at night. <laughs> um, some days I am good, some days I'm not. You know what, it just, who has time <laughs> for a whole beauty regimen in the morning and then at night and then extra moisturizers in the middle of the day, I just, I don't know. I don't. Sometimes with either of the two uh, cleansers, I will use this oh, cleansing, electric cleansing brush. Um, I It's from Con Air. I got it at Costco, big surprise. I feel like I've been getting a bunch of stuff at Costco. But yeah, I was shopping around and looking for um, a, a cleansing brush and I was about to get the Oh man, which is the one that they sell at Ulta? I can't remember. I'll, I'll insert the name here. Anyway, I was at Costco one day and I saw this and it came it came with uh, the electric brush. It's based to charge. Um, it came with... Oh, Jesus. I want to say four of these brushes. Yeah, two for the face, two for the body. Um, so far, I've only been using it for the face um, and like and my neck and sometimes I'll go like down to my uh, the top of my chest. Um, so like for your face and decollete areas, it was on sale at Costco for like 30 bucks with a, some kind of instant rebate. And I was like, you know what? I will try it because the other Sonic, it's not Sonic. I can't remember the name of the, of the damn um, brush, but it's like 200 bucks at Ulta and I don't know I didn't feel like spending 200 bucks on a brush so I I tried this one I really like it um, it's got a low and a high speed um, but that's about it I don't know how, what the other brush settings are 
um, but this one just has a low and a high. It beeps every 10 seconds, so you change, like, you do 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and then just like every 10 seconds, it'll give you a beep, so um, you know to keep, or to move on to the next area of your face. Okay, when I first got it, I started using it every day, and I think that might have been a little too harsh for me, so I just started using it every other day, and now I use it about uh, two or three times a week. And that's pretty much it for cleaning my face. Then I move on to serums and moisturizers and eye creams and all that stuff that um, women my age do uh, because of all the things that we don't want on our face. This is the box that one of the kits came in. It's from the company um, Ole Henriksen and it is the Three Little Wonders kit. It's got an, a morning serum, a nighttime serum, and then a moisturizer that you use with it um, both morning and night. The morning serum says it's the uh, Truth Serum Collagen Booster. Potent vitamin C complex to brighten, smooth, and help the appearance of aging. Lord knows I need that. One pump of this is good for my entire face and neck. Um, yeah, so this has vitamin C and it smells like oranges and citrus fruit. Oh, it smells so good. This one smells delicious. I wish, I wish this was a drink and I could drink it. It smells just like oranges and uh, tangerines and it's, uh, it's so citrusy and, and delicious smelling in the morning and it, it just wakes you up and it's so refreshing. Um, that I followed that up with the moisturizer. This is the Sheer Transformation uh, Moisturizer for all skin types and it's anti-aging with vitamin C complex, licorice root, and pea extract. Just wait for the serum to soak in and absorb into your skin. So just wait, maybe just a, a few minutes, maybe five minutes, until um, it's fully absorbed, and then you put on your uh, put on this moisturizer. Now that I read that it has peas, it's now it smells like peas to me. I can feel it stay on my skin for a little while. It's not one of those that just absorbs instantly into your face. Like so, I know it's not. It doesn't have a lot of water. It's definitely you know thick enough to last. A little while on your face um, and at nighttime I'll go a little bit thicker just because I know I'll either sit or walk around for a little bit and just let it absorb into my skin before I go lay down. The nighttime serum is this green one and this one is the invigorating night treatment overnight resurfacer. Um, this one does not smell great. It doesn't even smell okay. Almost like an old wine that's just been sitting out, like an old red wine that's just been, I don't know, getting nasty. I don't, that's not, that's like the worst explanation for this, but that's what it smells like. So when I put this on at night, I literally hold my breath and fan myself until it starts drying so the scent doesn't, uh, oh, so I don't smell it. Once that dries, I'll go back in with the uh, moisturizer but I pretty much use all of these products for prevention and really just to prevent wrinkles and spots and dark circles and dark spots and all that stuff it smells like it's working <laughs> if that makes sense the other kit that I got is from that company that I said um, first aid beauty um, this one's got a few products it has one two three four five products and sometimes I'll mix them with the um, the Olay Henriksen products. The first step was obviously the face cleanser that I um, mentioned and yeah so I go ahead and wash my face with this then once my face is clean and dry um, there's these pads which honestly in my opinion I haven't noticed that these have done anything. I don't really know what they're supposed to do. It says it's the facial radiance pads. They help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. They're these little cotton pad wipes, these thin wipes. And you just take one and wipe all over your face. I don't really feel anything. Um, I thought it was gonna be kind of like an astringent, 
um, but it doesn't burn. It doesn't really like feel like much. So I don't really know what these do. I don't think I would buy these again, but it it came with the kit, obviously. So um, I've been using them, but I'm not sold on this as a must have. Um, I don't really think it does anything. The next step is the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. And this basically same thing as the other serums. I just, just pump out one full pump of this it's just like a white uh liquid and you spread it all over my face and my neck and if there's leftover onto my chest area um and then wait for that to absorb and wait for that to dry um before i move on to the moisturizer this is the ultra repair cream intense hydration skin protectant with fab antioxidant booster i do like this moisturizer as well i think i may prefer this moisturizer a little bit more above this one um but they're both they're both pretty good and yeah like i said i've been using alternating them and using you know i'll use this one one day and this one another day and then the last part of that kit is this ultra repair intensive lip balm and my lips get very dry and chapped and they even start to get or they even start to peel and look like they're peeling just because they're so dry so i'll just you know use my finger i wish there was another way so it was a little more um hygienic but yeah just I use my um my ring finger and then just spread some over my lips and i'll do that you know usually at night but sometimes during the day or sometimes before I put on my makeup before I do um, everything I'll I'll put this on before and just kind of let it absorb into my skin uh, or absorb into my lips and if I'm feeling kind of fancy or if I have time because this takes about half an hour um, I will use a sheet mask so these are just two that I picked up at um, Urban Outfitters and I have a video of other sheet masks of other sheet masks that I've used I was supposed to do one every day and test them out, but Again, I just I didn't have time you have to sit there with this mask on your face for 30 minutes It starts falling and you know Like you have to like sit back and not do anything or just you know, maybe be on your phone, but I don't know. I don't always have time for it. If you have 30 minutes, then those are great because it just it sits there on your face for 30 minutes, and you just your face just does nothing but absorb all the uh, vitamins and uh, nutrients and everything that's on the on these masks. That's pretty much what I do. I don't do everything every day. I wish I could. I wish I had time to. Um, I wish I had the dedication to. Uh, make my skin <laughs> look better. I have been trying a lot harder to dedicate some time every day to wash my face and use these moisturizers and serums and oh that's one more thing that's right one more thing I do use is this night recovery eye cream from Kiehl's um, I forgot who mentioned this it might have been Kathleen Lights or Manny MUA who mentioned this for dark circles for people that have dark circles this is one of those things that i was so excited to use and to try and i was like yes i'm going to use it every day and try to see if i notice the difference i've used this a few dozen times um but it's i feel like it's still pretty full and i should probably use it every day <laughs> um especially now it's we're on a countdown three months until my wedding, so I definitely need to keep up with my beauty routine and make sure I look as best as I can in my pictures um, because those will be for the rest of my life. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Mask, a restorative concentrate of essential oils and botanicals for fresher, younger looking eyes by morning. I know there are a few beauty gurus who swear by this. I can't say too much about it because I don't use it enough or I don't use it often enough. Um, so I, I really need to start using this again. But that's it, before my battery dies again or overheats, uh, that's it for my video. Um, that's what I do and those are the products that I use. Sometimes I'll switch it up and 
I don't know, I'll use a different moisturizer or sometimes I'll get something in either my play box or just samples when I go to Sephora and I'll use those and I love trying moisturizers or I've, I've always loved using moisturizers. I don't, like I said, I don't use them um, probably as much as I need to twice a day every day, um, but I definitely um, notice when I don't use moisturizers, my skin feels uh, drier and sometimes maybe even a little bit more oily maybe my skin is trying to compensate on f the dryness so it's trying to make excess oil so I notice when I use moisturizers my skin does you know feel healthier it looks healthier and my makeup um, even looks better um, when I have a moisturized face I am going to go do all those steps right now um, and wash my face and then go to bed because it is three o'clock in the morning. Just take a wipe like this. Look at all that. I don't wear makeup every day. I like putting it on when I have to go somewhere, when I want to look good, but I'm not one of those people that have to wear makeup every day at least not just for well, I work from home so a lot of the times nobody's gonna see me run some errands or shopping those for those things I don't put makeup on I will maybe put on some concealer to hide the dark circles but that's about it now I'm gonna go wash my face since I had makeup on I would probably use the brush hey guys okay so my makeup is completely removed and my face is washed and now i'm going to move on to the nighttime steps i'm going to go in with the nighttime treat uh yeah nighttime treatment overnight resurfacer those are, that's pump right there usually like i said i hold my breath because this kind of smells Oh yeah, oh. I'm gonna just go fast. Oh, I smelled it, I smelled it. Oh, it smells like vinegar. Sorry. Jeez, Christina, cover up. Okay, and it does feel tacky once you put it on. Oof. Makes your face must be a little stiff, a little sticky. Just, and then just wait a few minutes for it to absorb. Next, put on the moisturizer. I don't know if I use more moisturizer than you're supposed to, but my skin honestly is... Oh, it feels... Oh, it feels so dry. Especially after that serum. Do not forget your neck because they say you can very well notice someone's age by their hands and their neck. And last, the Kiehl's Nighttime Recovery Eye. Tap it in so your skin absorbs it. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and would like to, I would love you so much for it. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Can't see anything with these glasses. All you see is my ring light.